On February 1, 2003, communication with Space Shuttle Columbia and her crew was lost. Columbia, Houston, UHF com check. They were 16 minutes from home. Columbia, Houston, UHF com check. Columbia, Houston, UHF com check. Columbia was hardly a thing of beauty, except those of us who loved and cared for her. She was often bad mouth for being a little heavy in the rear end. But many of us can relate to that. <laughs> many said she was old and past her prime. Still, she had only lived barely a quarter of her design life. Columbia had a great many missions ahead of her. She, along with the crew, had her life snuffed out in her prime. Just as her crew has, Columbia has left us quite a legacy. Hail Columbia. Their mission was almost complete, and we lost them so close to home. The men and women of the Columbia had journeyed more than six million miles and were minutes away from arrival and reunion. The loss was sudden and terrible, and for their families, the grief is heavy. This cause of exploration and discovery is not an option we choose. It is a desire written in the human heart. We are that part of creation which seeks to understand all creation. We find the best among us, send them forth into unmapped darkness, and pray they will return. They go in peace for all mankind, and all mankind is in their debt. destruction and tragedy, yet farther than we can see, there's comfort and hope. Rick was a terrific human being and a great leader. He was my pilot on his first flight. I grew to really appreciate all of his talents, his gifts. His favorite saying, and I can hear him saying it right now, was, you know, I feel more now like I did than when I first got here. Willie McCool. Laurel described Willie as an eight-year-old trapped in a ten-year-old's body. <laughs> now partly this referred to the fact that Willie had the genes from somewhere that made him look like a ten-year-old, his young appearance, but mainly it was a comment on Willie's almost boyish attitude. Captain Dave Brown, United States Navy. Not only a medical doctor, but a naval aviator and an astronaut on top of that. He lived to explore, to do research, to find new cures, and he was fulfilled working in the laboratory aboard Columbia. Kalpna, or Casey to her friends, she had a terrific sense of humor and loved flying small airplanes with her husband and loved flying in space. Flying was her passion. She would often remind her crew, as her training flow would be delayed and become extended, she would say, man, you are training to fly in space. What more could you want? Laurel Clark. Laurel was meticulous and detail-oriented, but she balanced this intensity with an absolute unwillingness to start any meeting without giving you a hug or asking about your family or telling you with pride about hers. Mike. He was a perfect choice for the payload commander. Organized, thorough, someone you could absolutely count on, a gifted leader. 
we all love to see him laugh. And when we, he laughed, we laughed with him even harder. Ilan Ramon turned to me with a question. How does one mark the Sabbath in space? With every 90 minutes, another sunset. Every 10 and a half hours is a Sabbath. Every 20 days, Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> Jerusalem, we have a problem. But Ilan taught us a powerful message. No matter how fast we're going, no matter how important our work, we need to pause and think about why we're here on earth. <laughs>